Hey there everyone, welcome to Game Vine, and my name is David and Trevor and Chris. And we are back to review another bluffing game. The games that he kind of likes. I love this game. Yeah, you love bluffing games, and Trevor tends to like these games quite a bit as well. So, yes. And this is called Cockroach Poker. Now, don't let the name have you run off in fear because this really doesn't It has happen. nothing to do with cockroaches. No, well, it does and it doesn't. You're not really going to be interacting with these creepy call crawlies. You're, all you're going to do is be passing the card, and you're either going to be telling the truth or you're going to be lying. Line. And Bluffing. that's basically what the game consists of. It's very simple. We're going to show you what comes in the box, and as you can see, it's very small. Not much to it, really. And then we're going to show you how to play. Let's go. Boom. Alright, so this is what comes in the box. Very simply, it's just a whole bunch of cards with different emblems in them, and Chris has laid them out here very simply. You have a stink bug, you have a fly, you have a cockroach, rat, spider, scorpion, bat, and a toad. Now, these come in different pictures. As you can see, no one uh, type of bug is going to look the same, and there's no reason why they needed to do that, but they did anyway to kind of enhance the art, which I personally appreciate. As you can see, they are sleeved, and that is all that comes in the box. Now let's show you how to play. All right, to start off the game, all you do is pass out all 64 of these cards to each of the players. In a, a two-player game, all the way up to a six-player game, there might be bigger hands according to the players, and that's all you do. And once you've done that, you are ready to start the game. So now that you've dealt at all the cards, you're ready to go. Now the aim of the game is to not lose. Now in this game, there will be multiple winners and only one loser. Now. The two losing conditions are if you're ever um, at a point where you have three, oh no, four of the same critter, you lose automatically and all the other players win. Or if you get to the point where you have to pass a card and you can no longer pass a card because you don't have a hand, you immediately lose and then the other players win. Now, the, So that is the goal. You don't want to do either one of those things and you will end up winning. Now it's not as easy as it might sound. Um, I do want to note that if you ever get, get to a point or circumstances where you place a card in front of you, you take another turn immediately. So this is how you can reduce your hand to the point where you might lose. If you, get, if you go to pass a card and somehow you gain it again, you might take five turns before anyone else gets to go. So that's what you want to try not to do is gain cards and you don't want turns. So how do you gain these cards or try not to gain these cards? Let me show you. So what you're going to do on your turn is place one card face down and pass it to any other player. Now you can choose to lie about this card or you can tell the truth. Now I will pass this rat that you know is a rat to Chris and say, I uh, have, I am passing you a spider. Now on this occasion, I am lying and the player who you pass to has two different decisions. They can either choose to look at the card and pass it. Now they know what the identity is and they can pass it to Trevor here and say, anything they want they can continue to say that it's a spider it's or a <laughs> or they can say that it is a rat or they can go off a tangent and say whatever they want and, it, and or he can uh, call a person out and say i think you're lying or you're telling the truth now when this happens trevor is going to say what would you say trevor if somebody said that was a lot uh, a spider I would say they're lying. They're lying. So he would flip this, and if they are in fact lying, this person would um, have to gather this card in front of them, and then they have one of the four in front of them. Now, when you get four animals and or insects in front of you, that's when you lose. Keep that in mind. You don't want animals and or critters in front of you. Um, now, uh, the person who, who gained the last card will continue to go with the play. Now, if you uh, pass a, a card to Trevor again, and he calls you out, and he says, says that you are lying about this card, and you are, again, you would claim this critter and put it in front of you, and you will continue to play until you're able to actually fool somebody into taking the card themselves. So, Chris will stink say bug. this is... Stink bug. A stink bug. And Trevor will say... I think you're lying. And he will flip it, and he is actually telling the truth. Now, Trevor will put this in front of him, and now 
Trevor would be the person trying to play a card from his hand. Now, we will continue to do this process until one of two things happens. One person gets four critters in front of them. In that case, they lose. And or the person um, runs out of cards. Let's say this is my last card and I play it. That person who runs out of cards is the loser. So that's simply what cockroach poker is. So now that you know how to play this game, let's tell you what we think and give this game a grade. So that was Cockroach Poker. Very simple, and I'm pretty sure I went over the rules, and I mean, it's really that simple. So as we always do here on Game Buying, me personally, I'm gonna be giving this game a letter grade and or percentage. And I settled on a low C, which is a 72 for Cockroach Poker. But don't let that hold too much weight because I do enjoy this game. The reason why I did give it a 72 because of course, it's just a deck of cards. I'm not gonna give a game that's so small like a grandiose scale but it does really um invoke so much laughter and it, it it does get me into like this mode where i think i can bluff but i ultimately cannot because that person's going to call me out every time um i like the fact that there is only one loser that's kind of fun i mean a lot of people uh win in this game uh but all, I think ultimately what satisfies my uh, niche for this game is the fact that it is a bluffing game that's super short and has pretty good art to complement it as well. Again, if they're going to go with just a card route, they did a perfect example. And again, you put all the creatures on the back here that Chris told me to mention fur uh, further, but you always have some kind of reference yeah. on what you're looking at. So right. they're, it's a good decision, but yeah. I mean, that's where my grade really stands and why I like it. It's a fast paced bluffing game, which really falls under my realm of liking this game. So, who's next after this? Let's go, Trevor. Oh, oh man. man. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, Trevor's first. There we go. Age before. No, I guess in this case it's not. Uh, I, I like I this way, game. I'm way older than Trevor. He's not way older. A couple years. So, I'm going to give this game just a thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It's a really simple game. Uh, it's fun. I enjoy it. I think it's it's fun. The more people you play with, it says two to right. six. Uh, I two really player can't... game. I don't. See I don't see how it's a two player game. That's not. That, I don't hard. think that's gonna work. But um, uh, you know, six six people really fun because you could. I've seen it multiple times when we played with that many people where it gets passed to the last person. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, because people just keep passing it and lying and passing or telling the truth, trying to get that person to eliminate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's. It, it's a fun game. It's it's not real complicated. Like they said, I didn't even think about this. I do like that it has a quick reference on the back yeah. because it, it's really hard. I, honestly, when I first played this game, I lost track of all of the different types. So right. I was like worried I was going to say something that wasn't that actually wasn't, right. one of the bugs the or... Uh, and then you're calling out of me. Right, right. Yeah. Right. So, um, no, I like this game. It was uh, actually uh, one of the first games that I played. Um, it's super German, artists. by the way. Yeah. Very German. Very it, German. This is the English version German. where they came out in Germany first. Yeah. So. I like that it has different... Um, e even though it's one specific type of uh, insect bug or, you know, rodent or something like that, mm -hmm. I like like that the artwork on each card is different. Like they didn't need to type, do that either. They didn't right. need to. No, they, no, no, they no, didn't need to. Oh, need to. Yeah, need to, yeah. yeah. It was that's what I was going to touch on. Is uh, each individual card has more than one that's different. Right. So it's, what it's are you going to give it same. wise Are you going to go with your ten oh, yeah. scale or are you going to um, do a thumbs thing? I would do uh, one through ten. Yeah. So I'm going to give it an eight. Okay. Um, just because, like what Trevor was saying earlier, it it it's a game that you can play. With other people who haven't played yet, mm -hmm. they haven't oh, played that, any kind of, Yeah, it's real simple. It's really quick to get, and um, the artwork, like Trevor was touching on, um, I really do love the artwork because uh, they could have used one scorpion, one bat, one spider, one rat, one stink bug for the entire but, but why? For the, the entire thing. thing. Yeah. They didn't have to change it up at all, mm -hmm. but they did. So you have like multiple different cards, like a fly mm -hmm. or or a toad, that looks different. From any other one there's not just one that's the same and that's just an added bonus now the thing yeah. i want to ask is now you play poker i play poker you play poker you i play? i don't play poker. is this anything like poker it's it's way too simplistic no, it's uh, not like poker no right. it's not poker at all there's, <laughs> there's the stakes why right is there, there and there really well, no, uh, poker, i mean yeah. but but anyone that plays poker will tell you ultimately it is as simple as bluffing and that's playing, all playing it is it, it doesn't have anything right? to do i mean yeah it does have to do with what's in your hand but it's it's all about are you able yeah, to bluff bluffing, and and yeah. so i think from that perspective sure. you know rightfully so it can be called cockroach right. gotcha, so and, I, and i'll tell you what though for real though um 
like I said, and I even brought it to one of the family nights that we, oh, yeah, we yeah. play at, and uh, it, it plays very well. So any any whole, age group. Any age group. So right. who do we recommend this for? I'm going to recommend this for I'd pretty recommend much for anyone. Any, any it's family. a great yeah. gateway filler game, yeah. and it's easy to bust out you. Yeah, I, I don't think there's... I, I, actually, I will say, you're probably not going to enjoy playing this game uh, with a really hard crew, a hardcore group True. of gamers yeah, at right. like your yeah. local game yeah. shop like on a game night. There's probably not going to be a, guy, a lot of guys that want to play this game. Right. It's right. really simple. It's... it's and, the ones that I find are funny is like, let's say the first person says this is a, a scorpion, or they they say it's whatever, and it gets passed to the sixth person, and yeah. every single you person says the memories. same exact yes. thing. Yeah. I've seen that where like the first person will say scorpion, it'll get passed scorpion, 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 and, it'll, and it won't change it makes it what anybody says, person. and then you're like, man, is it really a scorpion, or were they, they, lying were they all lying. lying about it? Yes. And that's why I think the game really shines. It's a great party game, and you're able yeah. to just kind of doubt. I mean, fact enjoy it. I mean, you get yeah, to enjoy it a lot. People, yeah. So that's what we think. I gave it an A7, basically. You gave it basically what? A, uh, <laughs> Thumbs up. I, I like, like it. it. Or an I like it. Thumbs up. I'm at an 8, yeah. Right. So, I mean, it gets high praise from us, which is greatly appreciated from a it's small a big, box game. It's a big game. family game. It's, yeah. I, I'd much rather really right. it. So thank you so much for enjoying the review today. I hope it was insightful and gave you a good flavor if this game is for you. And please like and subscribe at the end of the video. And until the next time that we see you, I've been Dave. I'm Chris. Trevor. And have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play. You heard it here on the Game Vine. We're out. Bing, bang, Bye. Boys. Yeah.